There are millions of websites today, so how do you make your website memorable? I created Adagio, an advanced scroll animation system that makes it easy for you to add immersive and unforgettable features to your Squarespace website. Squarespace is about to launch a built-in way to animate block elements, so I figured it's the best time to introduce more advanced and captivating section animations to combine with its native block animations. First, I'd like to define what scroll-driven animations are. This is a type of website animation wherein the movement of the elements is based on the user's scroll position. For example, in this beautiful Cosmos website, we'll notice that the elements move when we reach a certain section, and then its movement and speed will be based on the user's scrolling speed. Apple also uses this technique a lot in their product pages to show how parts are assembled or revealed as users scroll. When well-crafted, scroll-driven animations make the browsing experience more like unfolding a story or unwrapping a gift. And I wanted scroll animations to be easy and simple to implement in Squarespace. So I created Adagio, a project I named after the slow and sweeping expression of grace in music and dance. When you visit casaadagio.com, you'll find a showcase of these animations to give you a glimpse of what's possible. For example, when you land on the page, you're welcomed by this graphic that is inspired by a clock. And once you start scrolling, it will turn and reveal the colors of Casa Adagio. And then right here, it says, take time as you scroll. It's best if you slowly scroll through the page. So as soon as we scroll, the name of Casa Adagio is slowly revealed, but then as soon as we scroll, we'll notice that the text is slowly revealed. This is what we call split characters. And then notice as soon as we scroll, um, there is also this uh, custom animation of our graphic. This is a stroke that's created in Figma and then it's slowly revealed as we scroll. And then in this next section, we are invited to tune in by playing the audio for the full experience. So once we click play audio, the music will start um, and you can tune in to this music as you scroll through the rest of the page. So notice how it will stick to the bottom right of our screen and Anytime, you can also click this to toggle off the audio and click again to toggle it on. Now let's quickly scroll back to this full width video and you'll notice that uh, initially it is full width, but then as we scroll, it somehow shifts to a different block. And that's actually the magic uh, behind it because it's shifting from one section to the other. Now it's wrapped around these text. And then you'll notice from here, um, we are revealing the steps to install our Casa Adagio catalog or Ad our Adagio animation system. And you'll find right here that um, step one is it, that we can set it up in a snap because we can install the entire catalog just in seconds. And then from here, um, we'll notice that as we reveal other images, once it reaches another image that is associated to the step two, it can change the background color of the page and then it will change as well when we go to step three. So this is actually quite a flexible technique because we can uh, implement this in different ways as long as we have uh, keywords added uh, within the section. We can change the background color when a particular element is in view. Now, once we scroll more, it says, let's take a tour. Now we'll have uh, an overview of the other techniques that's included in Adagio. The first one is the horizontal image scroll. This is quite easy to use because we're using Fluid Engine and a gallery block. Everything in the gallery block will horizontally scroll. And 
uh, this animation system is smart enough to calculate uh, the length of the scroll depending on the number of images that you add to the gallery block. And again, you can add a video behind, you can add images or logos. Now, our next animation is draw on scroll. We can create any custom SVGs using Figma or Adobe XD or Adobe Illustrator. And you'll also notice that the split character effect within the text block is also implemented within the same section. Now we have another horizontal scrolling technique, but this time using sections. So you can um, assign different sections as part of this horizontal scrolling uh, area. And you'll notice that we have the flexibility to add any element. It could also be gallery sections or list sections. But in this case, I use fluid engine sections all throughout. And then you can reveal images, videos, any elements that you can add to our fluid engine section. And now we have what we call a moment of delight right here because this is where you can interact with the items. It says hover over the items. It somehow has a bounce effect and then the intensity will be depending on how you move the elements. And then once we go to this section, uh, this is what we call mouse over reveal because as we move the mouse, the images will change. So this is so easy to install because we need we only need to use a gallery block again and uh, all the images will be rotated depending on uh, yeah, the images that you add to the gallery block. And just imagine per section, you can showcase portfolio uh, in this clean and unique way. Then once we scroll to the next section, we can transition to the next section using the same effect, but again, with a different layout. This just um, showcases the flexibility of this technique. It just gives more of um, a unique way to present the cursor. Now our next uh, scrolling technique is what we call the circular 3D. This is using list sections and uh, you can easily um, showcase the list items in a more unique way using this 3D effect. And now we have this curved horizontal scroll. And again, this is using list section, so it's easy to update the items. These are really cool animation effects, but actually the best part about a Dajo is how easy it is to install. The first step takes seconds and we just need to add a code to install the entire catalog in a Squarespace site. Then the second step is to activate your chosen effect. You don't need to activate everything on a page. We have a visual guide wherein you can choose the effect that you wish to activate. For example, if I'd like to activate horizontal scrolling sections, I can choose this from our guide and you'll find the instructions on how to activate this particular effect. And you'll see there's, there's only one uh, line in the instructions. We just need to add specific IDs to our sections. It says add this HL start keyword to the first section and add HL and to the last section. So for example, I have this existing website hologram, uh, which is a concept project within our standout Squarespace program. And if I wish to activate the horizontal sections um, across all these four sections on my homepage, that means this one until this uh, list section, I would like them to horizontally scroll. All we need to do is add the keywords. It says HL start for the anchor link of the first section, and I need to specify where the horizontal section ends. So I want it to end right here in the, in the list section. So I will add HL and. When we preview our website, we'll find that our horizontal scrolling sections effect has been properly applied with the first and last sections that we specified. 
And this is actually one of the most requested features in Squarespace, but it's been really tedious and time consuming to implement until now with Adagio. And what I did is I thoughtfully coded it such that you don't have to edit any of the codes. The length of the horizontal scrolling sections is automatically calculated based on the number of sections that's included in the wrapper that you assign based on the first and last section. The rest of our section animations work the same way and they're that easy to install just with keywords added to the section anchor link. So for example, if we'd like to implement that beautiful circular scroll, then all we need to do is go to edit section and just make sure that we are using a list section in the simple list layout. And then all we need to do is add this keyword sphere. Now, when we preview this section, we'll find that our circular 3D scroll has been applied. And again, um, you don't need to edit any of the codes. You can easily update the items or the content. And again, if you have more items, it will also automatically adjust the scrolling uh, length. Now, while Squarespace will have built-in block animation soon, I still added some block animations within Adagio, uh, particularly those which will not be available within the native feature. So for example, for our text blocks, we can activate some um, text animations such as the split characters that I mentioned earlier. And to activate them, we just need to add the keywords within the block. For example, in this particular text block, I can add a character that will soon be uh, not visible uh, when we are out of edit mode. I just need to attach a link to it. For example, character split. Now when we refresh our preview, we'll find that the text animation is applied to this particular text. And the beauty of this is we can assign custom properties by adding keywords to our uh, link. So for example, I can add a stagger value of 03. This means that each letter will take around 0.3 seconds to show up after the other. Now we'll see the difference when we refresh our preview page. We'll find that this second section, the text characters take a while before they show up one after the other. And that's what this tagger value is. There's so much more to discover about Adagio and the beauty of adding movements to your Squarespace websites. If you are curious, please do check out my free workshop all about scrolly telling how to design memorable Squarespace websites using scroll animations. I'd love to hear your thoughts about Adagio and scroll-based animations in general. If you could, please do comment your most favorite scroll-based animations from casaadagio.com.